that area of the whole circle is about 70,685.83 yards squared. But we only want to find this yellow area. There's a couple of ways we can do this. Uh, let's see. Since I know my angle measure is 0.6 radians, I know then that 0.6 out of 2 pi, so point or 6.28, means I am working with, let's see, about 0 0.0955. So I have about 9.55% of the circle. I can use this number then take my 70,685.83 times 0 0.0955 and that tells me that the yellow area alone is 6,749.999 so rounding up 6,750 yards squared Generalizing an equation, okay. Let's generalize some of these equations. To find angular speed omega. All right, if we want to know how quickly someone's traveling, but we and we know the angle measure and we know the time traveled. Well, angular speed is gonna be the angle covered over time that it took to cover that angle. For example, radians per minute. We could also have degrees per second radians per hour. It's just like a distance measure. The only thing is that instead of covering diff distance, we are sweeping out an angle. But that is your equation. Okay, how about an equation for sector area? And that's the area of a slice of pi of our... First, we want to know what that equation would be if theta was in radians. Well, the way we find that is we do find the area of the entire circle, pi r squared, and we multiply that by what fraction of the circle we're working with. And the way we determine that is we take the angle measure we have over the possible angles, and that tells us what fraction of the circle we have. Well, this equation reduces our pi's cancel, leaving us with theta r squared over 2. So the area of a sector is theta r squared over 2. But this is only if theta is in radians. If theta is in degrees, we get this next equation. Area is still going to be the area of the entire circle times the fraction we're working with. But to determine this fraction, we took we take theta that's in degrees and divide by 360. Thus, we get that area is theta pi r squared over 360. Two different equations, but honestly, you don't really have to memorize either, as long as you know the general idea, the general process behind it. That in both situations, you want to figure out what fraction of the circle we're working with or what percent of the circle we have and then take that number and multiply by the area of the entire circle. Okay, a little bit more practice. Let's look at skiing Hans.